Oh yeah, it's time for For the Culture. We highlight DC area history, traditions, and cultural issues that matter. This week, Michael Kwanda introduces us to a DC public school principal who's hoping to inspire students through the work she does every single day. Look, first of all, I gotta start this interview off the right way. C-O-O-L-I-D-G-E. <laughs> you know I had to get you on that now. Yes. We got both Coolidge alum. Yes. And now you come back full circle and you are the principal of a DCPS school. Yes, that's very exciting. My name is Mossy Preston. I'm the proud principal of Dorothy I. Height Elementary School. First of all, you are 2020 principal of the year. Yes. You know, a lot of times we don't always hear the words. Thank you. So it feels good to be Acknowledge The journey, we've come from a charter school and transitioned to a traditional D.C. public school, which then was unprecedented. That, that is so uncommon to hear yeah. of a charter school mm -hmm. turning into a public school, especially right now where we're seeing a lot of it happening vice versa. Yes. Does that come with any unique challenges? For one, um, staff, we had to make sure that the staff was prepared. Everything was happening all at once, and it was moving fast. And then the other challenge was to make sure that we convinced and had our parents feel as though that things would not change for them. And you all have seen some tremendous successes. Yes, so we've had a lot of gains academically a lot, and a lot of growth. We've seen double-digit gains in both reading and math. Um, definitely enrollment continues to grow. What does it take uh, to be a good leader in education? Passion. You definitely have to have passion for the work. Um, integrity, but definitely start with love. You have to love what you do. You have to love the children, no matter what. But we have a lot of kids with trauma, you know, things that are happening at home, and you know, they come to school with whatever baggage they bring. And so just being able to uh, meet them where they are and really address the social emotional learning and understand that, you know, parents send the best that they have to school and we have to service them no matter what. So I'm hoping that I am definitely setting a good example for the students and that they can look up to me and, and hope one day to be a principal president. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Ah, good work as always, Michael Quander. And shout out to all the other Coolidge alums watching today. Principal Preston said none of the successes to her school would be possible if it wasn't for her dedicated teachers and staff. And by the way, if you know a person or topic we should feature in our Further Culture segment, hit up Michael on social media or send him an email. And right now, Howard.